most amazing artists, I hope you're having an awesome day today. We are going to work on the last step of our pumpkin patch project. Here's what we have so far. The first day we printed our apples to make our pumpkin shapes. Then last week we colored the grass using the side of an oil pastel and we drew some loop-de lines for the vines or the leaves on top of our pumpkin. Oh, and don't forget we also drew the stems on the top and you guys did an awesome job doing that. Now for the last step, Miss M is gonna give you one of these sheets, jack-o'-lantern faces. During this time of year, it's very popular for friends and families to gather together and carve pumpkins. And to do that, you can use a lot of different shapes. So today, while you draw your pumpkin faces, you are going to use different shapes. You could use shapes like triangles. Triangles have three sides. One, two, three. You could use a square. Squares have four sides. One, two, three, four. You could also use a circle. A beautiful heart shape would be fun. And this shape here, this is called a semicircle. So that is half of a circle. It almost looks like a circle, but it's cut in half. So you can use a semicircle for maybe the mouth of one of your pumpkins. You can mix and match these shapes to make the different faces for your pumpkins. Your pumpkins are going to have two eyes and a mouth. So you can choose whatever shapes you want to for your eyes and your mouth. I've drawn some pumpkins on this sheet to give you some ideas for some faces that maybe you want to put on your pumpkins. But for every single pumpkin, we're going to draw a face. So all you're going to need today are your pumpkins and a black crayon. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start up here on this pumpkin and I think I'll draw this face on my pumpkin. So the eyes, what shapes are those? What shapes are those pumpkin's eyes? Hmm, are they squares? Hmm, squares have four sides. Let's count. One, two, three. Mm, no, it's not a square. It must be a triangle, because it has three sides. So we're going to draw two triangles right on our pumpkin. And I colored it in. We only have one eye, so what do I need to do? draw another eye on my pumpkin so he has two eyes and I use triangles now I'll use a semicircle that's half of a circle and to draw a semicircle you just draw a line across and then you connect it with a curve and we're going to color that in just like that so now our first pumpkin is done let's do another one together Mm, I really love the heart eyes, so I want to put heart eyes on this pumpkin. So I'm going to draw two hearts. To the best of my ability, just try your best when you draw your hearts. They do not have to be perfect. And when you draw them, then you're going to color them in all the way. Color those eyes in. Now, what's he missing? Oh, he's missing his mouth. So I have different mouths on these pumpkins and you can choose from them. I think I'll do this mouth with a little tooth sticking out. That's pretty funny. So it's just a curve for the mouth and then what shape is that for the tooth? Oh, it's a square. So then you'll draw a square at the bottom. Just like that. All right, let's do one more together, friends. And I want different eyes this time. So I think, oh, look at this one. For this one, I did regular triangles. And then down here, I flipped the triangles upside down. So you can do that for your shapes if you want to. So instead of a regular triangle, you can draw it upside down to make different kind of eyes for your pumpkin. Just like that. Now, I think I want this pumpkin to be surprised. And I think the circle mouth makes them look pretty surprised, like they, they're shocked. They just saw something surprising. So I'm gonna do a circle for his mouth. 
Awesome, so I'm gonna do this for every single one of my pumpkins, and I'm gonna try to mix and match my different shapes to make the faces for my jack-o'-lanterns. I'm gonna speed this part up, so I will come right back when I'm finished and I'll show you what my pumpkins look like. finished adding faces to all of my pumpkins. I tried to mix and match the different shapes on all of my pumpkins to make them all unique and have their own personality. I hope you guys have a lot of fun adding your amazing jack-o'-lantern faces to your pumpkins. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!